Alright, what happened? <clears throat> Tell us what you know about the murder. You're talking to me? I say you're talking to me? Don't look at him when you're talking to me. Trillo Quist, you behave, young man. Shut up, Woody! What murder are you talking about? You mean the one where they off the old man? I guess so. No need to make such a fuss about things. That old mutt paid us all peanuts. Trullo, you can't say things like that. I didn't raise you to be that kind of puppet. Don't you have nerve pills or something to take right now? <laughs> These two are really an odd couple, aren't they, Nick? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Graham's got clobbered over the head. Let me lay it out. Oh, let me lay it all out for you. The pay sucks, the clown sucks, and my partner has his hands up my pants. Your partner? You mean Ben? Yeah, the creepy old guy never finds all himself to leave me alone. Tell him to back off from me, will you? He's just another one of the dorks around here. Oh, my. But I'll be fair, in this cesspool of human garbage masquerading as circus performers, I found my Madonna. Your Madonna? Regina, my lovely Regina. She's stunning, right, Ben? Well, I'm not sure if I would go that far. You'll have to excuse him. He does not understand what he speaks. I, on the other hand, am an appreciator of true beauty. Hence, why I shall marry her. Ma 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 marry? <laughs> the ringmaster got knocked upside his head by that cheap frying fraud. You mean Max Galactica? Why you say that? Trullo, straighten up. Don't accuse people like that. Straighten up! I'll make I'll make a wood. Besides, with you here, you know what happened? I oh, know you were there. You know what happened? You were there? <laughs> if you're that interested, I'll let you in on the facts. You, you're going to marry Regina? That's right, she doesn't quite realize the joy of the waiter, does she? But she did seem a bit worried about things. Well, she... I don't care, it's my choice, not hers, we're getting hitched. I know you think that, but... But what? I gave her a special gift, I gave her the wonderful gift of song. You gave her a song? Well, I am a renowned tenor. You'll be happy to know that I've decided to grease you with one of my songs. Me, 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 me. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The rest is private. Well, uh, the melody's pretty good. But those lyrics, I think they need a little work. Who asked you? I'm the artist here. <laughs> uh, thanks. Now that Trillo's here. Now that Trillo's here, does that mean you can talk normally now? Hey, Buffface! Ah! You must be looking forward to tomorrow, aren't you, Mr. Ambulance Chaser? Uh, you know, it's time to get rid of that pesky musician once and for all. Tru Trillo? Enough Chubba Jamba, let's get to court already! Holy crap. Wait a second. Nick, what's going on? He's a witness for tomorrow's trial. Ah! Alright, now what the fuck, we were supposed to go talk to the clown. What in the world happened with Ben and Trillo? Quite a pair, those two. What is that puppet? Whoa! What the fuck? A monkey! <laughs> uh. uh. Okay. Sounds like a monkey pimp slapped the shit out of Phoenix. <laughs> what is it, Nick? Is it that monkey? Ah! My badge! That monkey stole it! What? Uh, oh, hee hee hee! Mr. Attorney, that face was so cute! You look so completely dumbfounded! Regina, you, that monkey! Hey, no need to get angry, okay? But, but, but my attorney's badge! Don't worry, I'll help you out! Okay, if you say so. If I don't get my badge back, I'm gonna flash it! By the way, the monkey's name is Money! Money the Monkey! His name is Monka Money? Money the monkey. The monkey is called Money? Yes. Well, the rich ape just stole my attorney's badge. Mind if I get that back? I'll see what I can do. Even I have money problems. Hey, whenever Money sees something shiny, he takes it back home. Uh, that's pretty funny. Well, I guess I'll just have to find out where Money disappeared to. I think that's your best bet. You should probably ask Uncle Mo. He might know. 
huh? You don't know? Well, Money isn't exactly someone I'm on friendly terms with. What? He's not really the kind of animal I work with, even if he does need chaining. Oh, I see. Go to Moe's, huh? I guess it is time that I revisit that kooky clown. Do you mind telling us a bit about Ben? Ben? You mean the guy that is always hanging around with Trillo? What do you mean, hanging around? Well, he was there when Trillo told me that he was in love with me. Trillo told you he was in love with you? Yes, he did. Kind of cute, don't you think? He's so smart and he's such a wonderful singer. I love him. What? What about Ben? What about Ben? He's got nothing to do with me loving Trillo. Like sand through the hourglass, so are the days of the circus. Speaking of the days of our lives joke about a soap opera. It is kind of like a soap opera, all this shit going on. Regina, you were proposed to, weren't you? Proposed to? Nope. That won't be for a while. Huh? Really? That's strange, isn't it, Nick? Yeah, Max and Trillo both said otherwise. They said they asked for her hand in marriage. Ah, uh, but Nat Max only talked to the ringmaster about it. I forgot about that. He asked the ringmaster for her hand. Not Regina directly. So I guess Trillo hasn't asked her directly yet. What? He's going to propose to me? I'm so confused. How about you, Maya? Huh? What? Who do you think I should go for? Max or Trillo? Wait, wait. You do realize that Trillo is a puppet? Uh, I don't care that he's a bit stiff. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta talk to the clown. But you have to go back to the entrance here. Uh, loading ha lodging house. <clears throat> oh, Detective Gumshoe took off already. Yep, just leave him alone for a while, okay, Maya? I'm sure he just got lonely and headed back to the precinct. Moe's room, here we go. Oh my, it isn't Mr. Right all the time. Uh, it's all right to be wrong every now and again, right? See, Nick, it just took a while for the joke to find its audience. Sigh. So what can I do for you? Do you remember a good joke you wanted to tell me? Pull up a chair, or maybe just pull my finger and let me have it. We're going to get the same sound effect either way, aren't we? Oh, you know, I pull a whoopee cushion on the chair. You really know what it takes to be a clown, don't you? <laughs> so, about Regina. Regina is such a pure, innocent child. She's such a cutie, too. She was born and raised in the circus, you know? But that means she doesn't really know much about the world outside the big town. Sounds like Curly. For her, every child's dream of the circus is her everyday reality. She lives in a dream world. Every day she sees dancing wild animals, men flying in the air, and one very funny clown. The funny thing is, that all seems normal to her because it is her everyday life. I guess that explains why she thinks she can marry a ventriloquist puppet. Don't ask me if her reality is a good thing or a bad thing, though. A clown sees life simply, without complications. Okay, have you ever heard of a monkey named Money? Oh, yes, Money! He stole my attorney's badge. Well, Money does love shiny objects. It makes sense that he'd swipe your badge. But under no circumstances can you chase after him. Hey, why's that? Oh, I know. You don't want to get involved in any monkey business, right? Exactly! Bravo! Bravo! Enough joking around, though. Money isn't considered a member of Regina's family. Then who does he belong to? We'll be happy to take you to where his owner is staying. You mean right now? Of course, shall we go? 